ever wondered why you ended up spending more on a grocery trip than you intended to? Maybe you've paid exorbitantly for dinner at an exclusive restaurant only to completely regret it a year later? Well, chances are that businesses have employed at least one of these sneaky tactics against you, and it worked. They made the extra profit while you incurred the loss. We will take a look at 10 of these tactics, but before that, make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and click the notification bell for new updates. Done that? Let's get to it. Number 10. Overwhelming your senses. Probably the oldest trick in the food business world. Most commonly, certain brands and product lines of perfume and scents are used to entice you into the shop and extend your stay there. In other times, this trick is a bit more complicated and you see it without seeing it. How? Well, nothing in a competently run food store is placed randomly. Be honest, if you entered a food store or a restaurant and came face to face with the fish fridge first, would you want to spend significant time there? Absolutely not. Usually, they place pastries or delicacies like pizzas, gourmet meat dishes, and rice platters at the front. This lets you take in the aroma of the food and trick yourself into wanting to stay there for longer. Number 9. Setting the Mood This is closely related to number 10, and you'll find that it's mostly high-end restaurants and shops that are trying to pull this off. Let's be frank, there's no good reason for a piece of steak to cost you over $650. When that happens, just know they're billing you for the atmosphere and mood. Atmosphere and mood are everything to higher-end establishments. And when you're in a place for hours, you're bound to take notice of the little details. Fine dining restaurants will typically have slow classical music played at a lower volume. How the dining hall smells, how the waiters dress, the interior design of the hall, and the way the chairs and tables are presented, all these things factor into scamming customers off the basis of a vapid sense of mood and setting. Number 8. One-off steal deals. 10 for $10, 5 in 1 sale, fire sale, bulk sale. These phrases are periodically used by businesses as a way to make quick profits by reducing their profit margins somewhat. While in most other markets, such as the video games market, good deals are the result. Most scamming is done by the food industry with these so-called steal deals. They promise you great value, but it's very common to end up paying more in taxes and other fees. Other deals try to entice you to buy a certain number of a certain product at a certain price. At that point, ask yourself if you truly need that many of that product. You could be getting a sufficient quantity of that product at a much lower price than advertised. Finally, always remember to read the terms and conditions, if there are any, that are written in small print. There's a clear reason why they're written in small print, and deciding to take a look and read them could be beneficial to your wallet. Number 7. Freebies and free samples of food. This is quite probably the most insidious and smartest ploy ever. Indeed, psychology and international business management students around the world probably spend their time working on assignments in which they analyze this. Next time you see a food shop or a grocery store offering free food samples, you better resist the temptation to try them out. It's human nature to quickly gobble up resources that are available for free. The thing is, there's usually a super friendly intern or cashier behind the tray of free food, and they will ask you to come again. Out of gratitude and humility, most of us will quickly make an impulsive decision to buy regular quantities of the product offered for sampling. Yes, this is commonly exploited by companies that have clearly been doing their homework on human psychology, and it only increases their sales figures while emptying your pockets unnecessarily. Number 6. Candies, chocolate bars, chips, and sodas right next to the checkout table. Another one for the psychology students and their books. These savory junk food items are almost always placed next to the checkout table very deliberately. What do you reckon the reason could be? We hope you've guessed it right by this point in the video. If not, then don't worry. Psychologists have explained this through the use of a concept called strength of willpower, among other things. Basically, it says that your willpower is akin to a muscle that gets tired over time. If you find yourself spending a lot of effort to stop yourself from buying junk food during a grocery trip, you're likely to collapse by the time you see the junk food at the checkout aisle. Exhausted from flexing that willpower muscle for so long, you may end up buying those junk food items unnecessarily and spending extra. This is another psychological trick businesses count on in order to increase their sales. Number 5. Well-designed, exquisite menus. There should be an annual competition held among seafood and fine dining establishments around the world to see who has the most well-designed menu books. Seriously! 
image is everything to them. Without image, there is no value, no profit. High-charging restaurants and even fast food joints go out of their way to design menus as well as possible, hiring the best graphic designers the job market has to offer. This is yet another subconscious sensory trick that businesses use in order to entice you to spend all your money at their establishment. Don't be fooled into judging unacceptable prices as acceptable just because the menu looks like something you'd want to frame in your home. Number 4. Day-Specific Offers and Special Deals This is a variation on the steel deals that makes use of a tactic known as artificial scarcity. It's basically what you'd expect with a name like that. The business usually claims to offer a special meal. That offer, depending on the day with the claim, that it's affected by the availability of certain ingredients or even certain highly skilled chefs. While sometimes establishments actually do run out of sufficient ingredients and end up focusing their efforts on making a true special, it is simply a scam more often than not. These specials are usually left unlisted on the menu, making you curious and intrigued as to what the meal could be. The waiter also sells it to you. Prices asked for these special meals are usually premium, and it's something the establishment could have offered as a regular menu-listed offering anyway. Number 3. Variations of menu items with a trendy or popular ingredient Remember the time when demand for avocados first suddenly rose up and became popular? They still hold some of that allure till now, if you don't remember. What is impossible to forget and miss is the fact that all kinds of restaurants from fast food chains to high-end diners began listing variations of their items with avocados on them. This is a textbook example of cashing in on a fad or item of short-term high demand with the intent of squeezing as much profit as possible before the trend dies off. To be fair, you would be foolish as an entrepreneur not to cash in on it. Regardless, you will be gaining much more value if you simply made those food items with avocado yourself or tried making a creative variety of avocado dishes at home. You would also save a ton of money as the avocado variants are priced higher. Number 2. Self-serve consoles and automated kiosks These handy tools are of great convenience. They offer you privacy and a sense of interactivity, but most importantly, they let you see the entire list of items on offer in one swing. Yes, you wouldn't have known about four to five different options of toppings and side dishes if you simply relied on the waiter or cashier to tell you about them. All fast food chains boast one of these kiosks at their locations, and they are always placed strategically in a location where customers can easily reach them. In exchange for convenience, they end up paying the price of falling victim to psychological trickery. Hard data has shown that fast food chains employing kiosks have all gained much in sales, as most people end up spending more than they need to on side dishes and toppings, which are all gracefully presented on a kiosk screen. Number 1. Refills If you're watching from the USA, you might be confused as to why this is number one. You only need to ask friends that have gone abroad and dined there. The USA is practically the only country where the practice of free glass refilling is prevalent nationwide. Only select establishments in each country have adopted this unique American practice. Be careful so that you do not get completely ripped off by constant refills that are seemingly free. They may end up charging you a fortune in the end. And that is all for today in our list of 10 food business scams. Maybe you have experienced unique scams yourself. Let us know what you think of this list in the comments below and add further examples if you can. Thank you for watching and please remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for new updates. We'll see you again next time!